Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So first up I'm going to start by applying some sticky tape onto the corners of the eyes. This is just going to give a nice guideline and it's just a quick and easy way to be nice and neat. Then I'm going to move on and prep the eyes using Pro Longwear Concealer by MAC Cosmetics. Then I'm just going to set that concealer using the vanilla shade out of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. Using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette, I'm going to take that warm orangey shade on a fluffy brush and just run that through the crease area as a transition shade. Now I don't know how to pronounce half the names in this palette so I will leave the shadows that I used down below in the description box for anyone who wanted to recreate this look using the same shadows as I did. So next up taking the lightest brown from the palette I'm going to run that through the crease area using a more defined crease brush. Using a flat shader brush I'm just going to pack on the white from the palette just all over the mobile lid. Then I'm going to pick up the darkest brown shade on that same crease brush that we use for the lighter brown shade and just kind of blend that on the outer V area. And then I'm just going to pick up the orangey shade from the palette and blend that into the middle, just blending those two colors in with the dark brown shade and also the white shade that we put all over the mobile lid. Now picking up Shimmer Shimmer by Makeup Geek, I'm going to place that onto the inner corners of the eyes and also the brow bone for a nice highlight. Using Black Track by MAC Cosmetics, I'm just going to go in with my favorite wing liner brush and create a wing. We were going for a full glam dramatic makeup look, so I did make the wings pretty sharp, but by all means, you don't have to. It just depends on your client's eye shape or your eye shape, so just keep that in mind when doing your liner. So once I was happy with the eyeliner, I just went ahead and removed the sticky tape off the corners of the eyes. Now moving on to the face, I'm just going to use my Garnier Micellar Water to clean and remove any dirt or oil or eyeshadow fallout that we had on the face. Then to prep the skin, I'm going to use the Strobe Cream by MAC Cosmetics. I feel like this is just so hydrating and because we're going to go for a full coverage look, I definitely wanted to use this over some of my other primers. For foundation, I use Studio Fix by MAC in the shade NC37 and I'm just going to apply that with just like a big foundation brush and then go in with my beauty blender and blend that out. So as you can see here, I just applied one layer but then I actually go in after I've blended this out to apply a second layer. Like I said earlier in the video, we were going for a full coverage dramatic makeup look. So yeah, that's why I did that. Of course, you don't have to use as much foundation as I did but I give my clients what they asked for and she absolutely loved it, so that's all that mattered. <laughs> To conceal underneath the eyes and the center of the face, I went in first with NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla and just placed that underneath the eye area and also down the center of the face. And then I actually went in with another concealer. I used the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Fair and I just placed that closest to the corners of the eyes and also down the center of the face. I've been doing this so much lately and I love it. I love the extra like brightening effect that it gives. So yeah, after I've done that, I just go in with my damp beauty blender and blend all that out. To set the concealer, I'm using MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Light on a Real Technique setting brush and just pressing that into the skin. Using the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder, I'm just going to dust that over the rest of the face to set that foundation. To warm up the skin, I'm using the Coco Contour Palette by Too Faced Cosmetics. I'm just going to take that around the forehead, down the cheekbones, around the jawline and just a little bit on the nose as well, just anywhere the sun would naturally hit. To contour the face, I'm using Hula Bronzer by Benefit Cosmetics on my Zoeva contour brush. To 
To make that contour nice and sharp, I'm going to bake underneath her cheekbones using the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder on my Damp Beauty Blender. For blush, I'm using a mixture of Makeup Geek's Head Over Heels and Spellbound, just placing that onto the apples of the cheeks and blending that up into the cheekbones. Then to highlight, I first take Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop and just place that on the tops of the cheekbones, the cupid's bow and also the nose. But then we decided to go even more intense and take Pearl by Becca Cosmetics and just place that straight over the top of Champagne Pop. So on the cheekbones, the nose and also the cupid's bow. Then I'm going to go in and wipe off that fake using a clean fluffy brush. Now moving on to brows, I'm using the Anastasia Brow Palette and first up I'm going to take that soft brown duo and pretty much just fill in where I want the brows to be and then I'm going to go in with medium brown and just fill in any sparse areas and just define them even more. So once I'm happy with the shape of the brows, I then go in and brush out the hair just to make it look a little bit more natural. Then I'm going to go in and clean up underneath the brows using the Studio Fix Concealer by MAC. I feel this just ties the look in and just sets off the eyebrows. It makes them nice and clean and defined and I love this step. Now moving back onto the eyes to finish them, I'm going to go in with that same gel liner by MAC and just place that in the lower waterline. Taking the same Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette, I'm going to take a mixture of that dark brown shade and that orangey brown shade and just smoke that underneath the lower lash line. And then I'm going to go into that jet black shade just on a shader brush and pretty much just press and smudge that into the lower lash line. Using the same pencil brush as we used to apply the two browns, I'm going to go in and just smoke out those two colours just so they're nice and blended together. And then of course I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and coat the lashes and then apply some false lashes. These ones are the Model Rock ones. I think they're the wispy ones but I will leave them down below if any of you guys wanted to check out the style. So once I'm done applying the lashes, I then take that same gel liner and just run over the top of the lash band. This is just going to help disguise it more and make them look a lot more natural. Using the same mascara, I'm going to go in and coat the top lashes again and also apply lots of mascara on the bottom lashes to really open up the eyes. Now moving on to the lips, I'm going to line them using Strip Down by MAC Cosmetics. For lipstick, I use Flesh Pot by MAC Cosmetics and just apply that all over the lips. So this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!